While looking through the suggested apps, I ended up finding one called Earth Viewer, and that's the one I've decided I want to show. This app is um, a timeline basically of how the Earth has looked throughout the different periods of time. And it's a lot like Google Earth, so you can adjust and rotate the world on the map so that the students can, first of all, see exactly how round the world is and that it's not 2D like our paper maps often show. And then you can also adjust it so by the time period. So by moving this little bar down, you can show what our world looked like during the Triassic period. And you can move the map around and look at that. You can look at it during the very first period of time that they know about. And that shows the world looking very, very different from how it does today. This app I just thought would lead really well into both social studies and science, which could also of course lead into math or writing, reading, any of the topics, because it talks about the CO2 and O2 percentages from each period, and then it can also show you a chart of what they looked like. So we can see how it adjusted from the years and what's going on with it. Um, so temperature, oxygen, you can look at carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide, day length, the luminosity, and the biodiversity. Um, you can also look at, in the different time periods, how plate tectonics may have moved our land, where we all started up being. So it would show that a lot of the world was not even quite formed yet. We're still under ice and under water. Um, but it shows that different places like Calgary is next to Chicago and Los Angeles is not on the other side of Toronto usually and Moscow does not stay down there. So it just shows a lot of diversity within our world. Um, it would, of course, also lead into looking at the dinosaur periods and where dinosaurs came from. And I like this map because it's just so interactive and it could be passed around for the students to look at, especially on a set of iPads. And they could look at the eons, the eras, the periods. It can lead into just so many different topics.